Got one. What is that? I'll be honest, I have no idea what this is. My name's Jacob. I am Westo Angling here on YouTube and I've been growing up fishing in Nebraska my whole life. Fishing has always been a huge passion of mine and one of my favorite parts about fishing has always been going to the river. Fishing the river is just, there's something so mysterious about it. You Sometimes you have no idea what you're going to catch. It's not like you go to a lake where you know the five different species that reside in this lake and you know that you have a chance at any of those. Any given day at the river, there could be a completely new fish swimming down that stretch. And there's always been something so captivating about not fishing for just one species. I've grown up a big bass fisherman, but over the years I've come to realize that there's so many more species out there to catch. There's so many more fish to appreciate. And I think one of the coolest things is that at some point you feel like you've caught every single fish in your state until you haven't. And I think North America offers so many cool native fish that the average angler doesn't even realize or they have no idea that that fish is out there. Across the United States, beautiful rivers cut through the Earth's soil. From the mountains to the cities, the U.S. alone has 250,000 rivers, stretching 3,500,000 miles. The rivers are full of life, from deer, to people parting on the weekend, to stunning fish. These waters are teeming with species we've all caught or desire to catch. You see a lot of people in the United States who have this very profound opinion on what a trash fish is. Uh, you think trash fish, you think of the common carp, you think of the grass carp, these invasive species that have made their way into the United States that have taken over waters. And then you have these native species that get grouped into these invasive species. People think that these sucker fish are in the same family as the common carp and the grass carp and the Asian carp. And the truth is they're not. Most species in the sucker family reside in North America. They can be identified by their slender body, a lack of barbells, and their sucker-like mouths. Lots of these species live their days in moving water, feeding on aquatic invertebrates. There are over a hundred different sucker species, but only one has been seen by very few. The blue sucker. Today, I think it was on roughfish.com. Someone said to catch a blue sucker on hook and line is one of the greatest fishing accomplishments that any American angler can hope to achieve. Blue suckers are very rare today. They used to be found throughout North America, but dams and poor river quality have led to their dramatic decline. This is the coolest fish. Most people would think it's a carp, but it is a fact it is a catastomid, a sucker. It's unique in that it has this really elongated body and it hangs out in these fast flowing waters, shoots and ripples that uh, most fish tend to avoid. So about a couple weeks ago, I'd gone out to the river with my cousin Connor. He likes to tag on these river adventures with me every now and again. And usually I fish the Platte or the Elkhorn here in Omaha, Nebraska, but this time I decided to go to the Missouri. I wanted to try a new spot, and I was hoping that this new spot would provide a chance at maybe a new species. I had no idea that 
the new species was going to be the blue sucker, a fish that anglers have rare, rarely ever seen or have spent lifetimes trying to catch. It's not too often that you get a chance to catch a new species when you've been fishing for as long as I have in the same state. So this is super cool and let's roll the tapes. We'll show you guys this full catch. Please be on, please be on. Please be a fish. Got one. If you want to grab the phone, you can. Wonder what it is. Connor, we got a fish. What is it? Is it a drum? Oh, what the heck? Wait, Connor. This is a new species for me. What is that? Oh, what the heck? I'll be honest, I have no idea what this is. What in the world? I don't know what that is. <laughs> what the heck? River carp sucker or something. <laughs> yeah, he freaked out for half a second. Now he's not doing nothing. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is a brand new fish. I've never caught this before. Oh, that's that. Its mouth is so weird looking. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, guys. There's the first fish of the night. Um, you guys are gonna have to let me know down below. I have no idea what this thing is. I'll be honest. It's either a quillback or like some sort of river sucker. Um, I mean, look at the mouth. You see that thing? That's only a mouth a mother could love. That's disgusting. <laughs> that is weird. I got the GoPro rolling too, just in case. All right, he's going back in the water. In the water. There you go, buddy. Oh, yep, yep, go. There you go. Back he goes. <laughs> what in the world? I was not expecting that. What the heck? That is whack. I've never seen a fish like that before. I was unable to identify the fish in the moment, but once I posted the picture on a fishing page, I knew right away that this was a special fish and that the fish I caught was a blue sucker, a fish that um, before this catch I had never heard of. And uh, I am still in shock that I was lucky enough to hook into one of these fish and I'm super pumped about it. I'm super pumped that I am able to share this experience with you guys. And hopefully in the future, I can see another one of these fish again, but to have held one in my hands, to have taken pictures with it, to have gotten it on video, uh, to have gotten the Master Angler Award to help me remember this fish by is something that I will never forget.